So if you connect a fully dead battery with a totally full battery, sometimes some bad things can happen. So let's try it. Hey guys, right here, welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing this Bluetti expandable battery, the B300. So I've heard from other reviewers that the expandable batteries sometimes don't connect very well to the power stations. Today I'm gonna to be looking at this and I'm going to be connecting it to a, a AC200 Max. And we'll also connect it to a AC200L. This is a brand new power station. So we're gonna test it out and see if we can find any issues with this. So it looks like it just came with this battery connection cable, pretty large when it locks in place it looks like. And then pretty much just this solar panel connection. Of course it came with the manual in the box, additional accessories. So on the side of the power station, we have a place where you can connect solar. So it looks like this barrel pin adapter is used for your AC adapter that came with your Blue Eddy power station. So they assumed if you're buying this, you probably already have one of these chargers. So you can just uh, use this to charge um, this power station as well. And here are the two connections for, this one will connect to the power station over here. And then if you, you can actually hook two of these batteries together. So this connection will go to another power station if you were to buy two of these. So this unit can accept two, two of these um, batteries. 3.072 kilowatt hours. If you put this power station with two of these, you'll have about eight kilowatt hours of energy. So it looks like the front, you just can turn it on right there. Cigarette charger, a regular USB, and then a 100 watt USB-C. If you have one of those fancy new laptops, you can charge your laptop with this. And that is pretty much it. Nothing on the back here. If all you need is DC power and you don't need the inverter for the 120 volts, you could, you could just put this thing in your car and have a ton of DC power available with these ports. And this can act as its own little standalone DC power station. But initial thoughts is I don't like the DC input. It's kind of a weak charge controller here, solar charge controller. Looks like it can only accept 200 watts and same with the car charging. AC input is 500 watts. So it looks like DC charging is appearing. So it looks like DC charging is working. It doesn't have Bluetooth app, so I can't really see how fast it's charging, but this is a 100 or 500 watt charger. So I imagine it's charging at 500 watts. So if I could get a solar configuration that was around like 50 volts and 10 amps, I would still try it. Let's see if I could get 500 watts charging this but it's really hard to get that many uh, volts and amps with your solar panel configurations. My used solar panels have about a 30 volts operating uh, voltage. So I can't really hook two of those in series because it'll go over the 60 allow voltage. Now, I am gonna try and connect this 315 watt new solar panel to this, even though it allows for 200 watts. Let's give that a try tomorrow when the sun comes out. So just my luck. When I need the sun, it's always raining out here. So even though this solar adapter right here can only accept 200 watts of solar, you can add more solar if you want by getting this DC charging enhancer. This can hook up to the bottom port. Then you can hook solar panels onto this, or this comes with another adapter where you can connect it to your car cigarette lighter. But this one can charge with 500 watts if you can get the solar panel configuration just right. Looks like this has an input of 12 to 60 volts and the output is 16 to 58 volts. So it's not doing a whole lot, but it does give you a wider range. So even though it's rainy, let's go hook it up to my solar array out here in my backyard. Okay, I've got all these six solar panels wired up in parallel. Pretty dirty right now. I'm not even gonna clean them. I need to move to Vegas. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and hook this up to the AC200 Max. I'm just gonna turn it on, plug it in.
actually let me unplug it real quick okay it's showing this battery is at 42 percent plugged it in okay now it just jumped up to 50 50 percent so it looks like it takes maybe the average of the two batteries so here's the main battery here's the extra battery at the so it's recognizing the battery, that's good. Okay, so with the AC200 Max, what I was looking at online is I saw someone mention that the auxiliary batteries won't charge from this unit. So if you plug this into a bunch of solar panels and you just connect the battery, it won't actually automatically start charging the battery. You have to hook extra solar panels into this. But So I called Blue Eddy and they said, no, 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 it works. So if you plug solar panels, it'll I think what they were saying is it'll charge this battery first. Once this battery is charged, it'll start charging your auxiliary batteries. So that would be good if that works. But let's go ahead and try it. So so we, we don't have a lot of solar right now, but let's hook up the AC charger to this, and then we'll hook up the solar that we currently have up to this. And we'll get it, uh, we'll see if we can get it to charge this and then switch over to this. And maybe right before it starts charging, um, when it gets almost topped out, we'll remove the AC charging and we'll just have it charge from solar. And we'll see if it switches over to try and tries to charge this unit. 100 watts now. Yeah, it's showing 100 watts coming in. But that's going to take a while, so let's hook the AC up. There we go. Should charge a lot faster now. Let this run for a minute. I think this one will go up to 100% first. Then, in theory, it should switch over and start charging this one, hopefully. So we'll just let it sit for a while. All right, it looks good. It looks like they're charging both at the same time, pretty much. This one's bottom one's charging and the top one is charging. So I'm just gonna remove my AC power and we'll see if that's the case if I just have solar connected. So I just have solar connected right now. Primary battery is 50, auxiliary is 62. And now we just have solar running. Hopefully it'll still charge both of them at the same time when it's on solar. You know, I've heard the saying, best things come in small packages. Which brings me to the sponsor of this video, Infrared. This is a infrared camera. This is great for checking the connections on all of your solar projects. So basically, it is this really small camera. It has this wide angle lens for working on, if you work on circuit boards. But here it is, plugs in this is the Android version, has a USB connection, so it will plug into the bottom of your phone. Download the app, plug this into the bottom of your phone, and your phone is now an infrared camera. But by far, my favorite part of this camera is seeing at night, seeing animals at night in the forest. Switch it to gray mode, and then it can be really dark out here. I can literally see in the dark. <laughs> She's just laying down right there. You can see near my front door, probably should add some insulation up here. That's all in this small little package. These things are kind of expensive, but they are running a 30% off sale for Black Friday, November 17th through December 30th. I'll put an affiliate link in the description if you're interested in one of these. Pretty cool. Okay guys, so it looks like it, with just solar, it looks like it's only charging the primary battery, not the extra battery. So I'll try this maybe tomorrow when I have sun or the next day after that. And hopefully it'll charge this one full and then it'll start charging this one. That's what we want to happen. Okay guys, this is the next day, very sunny this morning. It's 10 o'clock, plugged in the solar panels. They're in a 3P 2S configuration, getting 900 watts. So the max watts for the AC200 max and uh kind of a bad glare right now okay so top battery is 96 percent the bottom battery is 61 percent so hopefully this one will start charging pretty soon almost 900 watts coming in that's good so it does look like the solar if you connect so it does look like if you connect solar it does charge the expandable battery so it first charges this main battery and it's showing this one's at 99 percent and now this one's at 80 percent it was just at 60% like two hours ago. So we still have like uh, 850 watts coming in. So it looks like it's charging, it's, it's working great. 
So if that failed, that would be really bad. So now that we know that's working, let's go ahead and discharge this and see if it pulls from the battery. It should. Just plug in some stuff. First try this uh, external, this extra power station I have here. Wow, it's charging that one at 1200 watts. Shows uh, 1220 watts coming out of this. Let's see what's going in. 1214 watts. So yeah, it's actually pretty efficient too. Sixteen hundred watts. Oh, it won't run it on high. So it's on low. Six. Sixteen hundred watts. Let's plug in my e-bike. Seventeen hundred watts. E-bike's not much of a load. Disconnect my power station. Sixteen fifty. But I'm just gonna disconnect the solar and then let it run for a little bit. We'll see if it, see how it, we'll see how it pulls from both of these batteries. Okay, solar's disconnected. It's showing this one's at 98% and this one's at 79%. So I'll come back here and like, uh, let's give it an hour. 1700 watts right now. Let's give it an hour. Looks like they are pulling down at roughly the same rate. So let's just have it go down to zero, make sure it, um, See what happens. Plugged in this 100 watt light bulb for my son's turtle also. Waiting, looks like this one's at 98% and this one's now at 8%. So this power station, AC200L, charges battery bank that is lowest first. Plug my 315 watt solar panel into this charging port and see how much power we can charge this bottom battery with. Supposedly takes 200 watts of power, but I'm gonna put my 300 watt solar panel. Yeah. This charging port accepts 12 to 60 volts, so I should be under that. Probably the first time this solar panel's been used. Thirty-six. Darn it! So it limits. Looks like it limits it right at two hundred watts. Darn! I thought I would I'd be able to get a little bit more out of it. But right at two hundred watts, it limits that. So I've got six hundred watts coming in here, and another two hundred here. So about four hours will be charged. Let's see how much uh, power this solar panel can really produce right now. One o'clock in the afternoon. Sun's right there, 230 watts. But this port will reduce it to 200 watts. You can go, uh, just don't go over the volts, the volts, open circuit. But you can go over the, I think they, it says it lit 10, 10 amps. You can go over that, you should be able to go over the 10 amps and it'll not damage anything. But if you go over the 60 volts, you're probably gonna damage something. So we've got solar hooked up here. And if we have this DC charging enhancer, we can hook up a third array of connection right here. To the AC charging port. I've got two of these used solar panels in parallel right here hooked up. 300 watts, so that should be about 1100 watts charging this bottom battery now. So that's a lot better. That'll charge in maybe just over two hours. Yeah, so if you get an extra battery and if you get a extra DC to DC optimizer, you could hook three strings of panels up to this system. Okay, next I'm gonna discharge this all the way down to zero, and then I'm gonna plug the expansion battery in and see how it works. That's a cool display. Okay, it's the next day. The top unit is fully discharged. The bottom unit is fully charged. So if you connect a fully dead battery with a totally full battery, sometimes some bad things can happen. So let's try it. I'm just gonna connect it. Showing 0% right there. Jump up to 50%. Well, that's not good. Both of them are on. You look at the app. So it's really weird. Let me turn it off. I'll turn it on again. Come on. That's good. Just took a little while. Let me just plug something in, make sure I can still run the inverter, turn the AC on. Let me just make sure I can run something with the inverter. That's good. 
just for kicks I'm going to plug AC into the bottom unit and solar into the bottom unit. Let's make sure it's not going to charge the top unit. It should only be charging the bottom. That's good. I'll disconnect those. Let's hook AC up to the top unit now. It should charge now. Okay, now I'm just going to plug AC into the top unit. AC charging. 1300 watts coming in. Just plug solar in. It should only be cloudy day right now. Plug solar in. It should only be a couple hundred watts or 100. 100 watts of solar and 1200 watts of AC input. Okay guys, for summary, so it's pretty much working with the expandable battery. Although, yeah, you can just you just hook solar up to the top, first the top unit, which is understandable which is self-explanatory, and then that will charge the auxiliary battery. Now the AC200 Max does better at charging auxiliary batteries. I think there's probably something wrong with this unit, or maybe they'll have an update, because once this unit gets fully charged, if this is dead, it's going to take a long time. This one, only it only trickle charges the extra battery for some reason. Maybe they're going to fix that. Maybe I got something wrong. Um, if I find a solution to that, put it in the, pin, the top pin comment on this video if I can fix for this. Or uh, we'll see what they say about that. But that does look like a little bit of a problem. If you only have solar attached to this one, this one only will trickle charge at like 600 watts. Once this one's top one's full, looks like a little bit of a bug they have in their system. And if you hit put two of these together, I don't have an extra battery to test it, but if you have two of these together and they're both dead and you only have 600 watts, it's going to take you like uh, 10 hours to charge both of these from uh, if you have solar and AC attached, what it looks like to me. Uh, that's definitely not good. But, but if you want to charge your expandable batteries faster, they do have options for two extra solar panels to the each, ba each, each expandable battery, so that's nice. If you have two of these expandable batteries and this, you can potentially add one, three, four, five, five strings of solar panels to this system. So that's awesome. But uh, catch me next week when I'm gonna be reviewing this power station. It's looking good so far, but who knows? They're really new, so there's probably gonna be definitely some bugs with this, but I'm gonna try and find everything that's wrong with this, this top unit next week. Um, so thanks for watching.